Bible country, I am still in the text. Jesus was a poor black man who lived. Welcome to the story of Jesus. This retelling of the events of his life and teachings reflect his dramatic impact on human history. His words speak with authority, purpose, and meaning. The account of his life, death, and amazing resurrection has fascinated mankind throughout the ages. This story is true. Everything you hear in this program is true. His miraculous birth 2,000 years ago marked the beginning of the calendar used throughout the world today. Jesus was born a Jew and lived in the country that is known as Israel. He lived only 33 years and then was killed by being nailed to a wooden cross. Jesus was not surprised when he was captured and beaten because he taught his followers during his lifetime that he had come into the world to give his life as a sacrifice for the sins of all mankind. For three years before his death, Jesus traveled from city to city, teaching people that he had come from God in heaven to give his eternal spirit to those who would accept the gift of his forgiveness. This offer would give his followers assurance that they would live with God forever after death. To demonstrate that he was the creator God in human form, Jesus did many things that we would consider supernatural. He healed people of sickness, calmed storms, and brought people who had died back to life. The most complete report of the life of Jesus is found in the collection of sacred writings called the Bible. Bible country, I am still in the text. Jesus was a poor black man who lived. Welcome to the story of Jesus. Where did it begin? Let's start from the beginning. Did you know that in 1530 AD, Elzebel, Jezebel, gave Sir John Hawkins her personal ship named the USS Jesus to transport the human cargo called slaves from Ethiopia? Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 12 ye Ethiopians also ye shall be slain by my sword only seen by the prophets you understand? that single eye you understand? prophecy which is called scripturally the Arai. this is why the book of Johannes you understand what you call revelations is called ye Johannes Arai because it's the vision of Yah's grace. It's the vision of John. You know what I'm saying? The vision that John was given. The vision that John was given.